And then this is another mission that is available. It's uh, you have to like find a secret agent, like a bad guy secret agent. Oh come on! And like I said, I'm probably just going to do missions, at least. I haven't decided if I'm going to do the full 100% uh, playthrough and everything. But I'll probably do this right now. I'm just waiting for that DUP truck to pass by. Alright, so DUP agent is blending in with the crowd. Use their picture and find and defeat them. So, it looks like... That dude from Save the Last Dance. I gotta look for the guy from Save the Last Dance. Whatever his, his name is. And you'll see the little circle area that I am stuck in. And there's like drug dealers right there. With AK-47s in the middle of the street. Reminds me of Cleveland growing up there. Here he is. Here he is. Shit. He guys trying to get away. Get the fuck out of my way, dude. Oh, yes! Serious improvement! Alright, if he escapes, then I'm screwed. Where are you gonna go, dude? There's a freaking bay right here. You can't go anywhere. So, yeah, that's what happens when you defeat the secret agent. They say about secondhand smoke. And I'm running out of uh, running out of fire. So if I don't get out of the way, I'm done for. So I retreat. But you got to see that. And then there's also a cell phone mission right there as well, which I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna head over to the um, Space Needle and do the mission. Oh, but I just passed up a shard. Oh, and there's some smoke, too. I missed that. Alright, we got an upgrade. It's a sulfur bomb, huh? Screw it. Let's do it. And I thought I just saw another graffiti side mission. Oh, so once you destroy like a percentage of the city and take the DUP control away, you can do a district showdown mission, which is like the final boss of the battle, or of the battle of the level, or the, the particular city part that you're in. Um, and then you'll be able to fast transfer to each other city. So I don't know if I'm actually going to do that or not, but I am going to go over and do this... Uh, Graffiti mission. You know what? I have bad karma and I'm going to take these guys out. Oh, I didn't even hurt anybody. Civilians and all. Sorry, civilians. That thing just fell on this person. You see it? Oh, there's two of them. Oh, I really wanted to like kick them both at the same time. Oh, but I will do this. Because that is the kind of guy I am. I am bad Delson slash Scott right now. And I will more than likely not pass up the graffiti missions because I thoroughly enjoy them. <laughs> That's awesome. Huh. 
Just made the world a little better place. I like it. All right, now let's get over to the main mission. There's it over there in Seattle, center of the Space Needle. Um, since I have to go over that way anyway, I'm going to set a course to get this shard. What's that all about? It's about me being a badass and I'm running past you with my firepower, so zip it. There's more cops. I don't know if I should go kill them or just, you know, try to make it over to where I need to be. This little bastard is always like one step ahead of me. Yeah, baby. All right, come back over here. Finally. Ah, there's the sauce. <laughs> there is the sauce. Wait, where are all they? Where are they all at? All right, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. I wanted to do it from up top. I gotta stop the shit. And it's that easy. Yeah, because usually if you, like, destroy their little Hummer thing or whatever, you'll take some civilians out with it. And I'm trying to just kill everybody humanly possible in order to get this uh, negative karma, which I'm about a little over half to get my first karma upgrade. Sometimes that is necessary. You just take the whole building out in order to not even have to deal with fighting the dudes. It works out quite well. But right now, I am in danger, so... I gotta get out of there or I'm gonna die. And I have a feeling I'm gonna die. Shit. Sometimes playing this game, I'll get myself in situations where... I'm just going like too fast and I think I'm a badass because I have these amazing conduit superpowers at my fingertips and I get into situations like that where as soon as you start to go a little low on health you're pretty much screwed like if you play this you should run as soon as you start to go a little white or gray or whatever um, if you don't you're gonna end up in a bad situation Oh, what? Come on. I don't want any trouble. I just want to go over to the Seattle Center. I can shoot missiles from my hands? See, like right now, I'm in a restricted area, and I'm trying to whittle away at the defenses. Um, but it's not working, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to go do some story missions, because if not, I'm going to be doing this shit all night. Oh, nice. I can actually just destroy the pen and get bad karma. I'll do that from now on. This is the thing. I don't even want to, like, fight these guys, but they're everywhere right now because it's the beginning of the level. Shut up, you Don't do anything crazy bullshit. Alright, so there's the start of the mission. Oh, I gotta clear the area before I can actually, like, do this. <laughs> I love those freaking missiles. Bye-bye. 
Nice, I killed two civilians in the process. There's like a part of the thing in my way I can move. Hey, Juiceman, how's it going, man? I'm having way too much fun being evil right now. Yeah, and I've done this one too. Oh, they're coming after me. It's not cool. Hopefully I don't have to like uh, give it up and run or something. I'm probably just gonna have a bunch of DUP waiting for me whenever I'm done with this uh, little artwork. Alright, where am I missing? I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm enjoying my uh, infamous evil karma playthrough. I'm just being a, a havoc to this poor Seattle area. So I can't complain. Did a little TF2 and was having like crazy lag issues, so I'm glad that's over. <laughs> I'm gonna start this mission if I can. Okay, Reg, I'm here, and you were right. The needle's tricked out with all kinds of electrical crap and what looks like a bad aluminum siding job. You're gonna have to get to the top of the needle. Oh, it's a nice day. I'll just climb to the top. Climb. No, no, no. Don't be crazy. Hey, man, it's not crazy to be awesome. It's not crazy to be awesome. Smoke dash into a rooftop vent. Oh, nice. I didn't even realize I could do that. Yeah, so I'm gonna... Hey, Reg, hypothetical, you know, theoretical, totally what-if question here, but what would be the explanation for how I might be able to draw the power from some conduits, say, oh, I don't know, Hank, and not others, like one of these dupe troopers? Oh, my God, so you did try earlier. Hey, I'm not looking for an I told you so here, Reg. I'm just looking for an answer. <laughs> All right, so I didn't want to talk about the cutscenes, but you can actually like fall off of the space needle, which kind of sucks. Come on, get up there. And I actually went to Seattle last August um, Mrs. John and I wanted to go on a trip before Alex was born and I've always wanted to go to Seattle and we actually saw the Space Needle you could see it from the hotel room which was freaking awesome uh, if you've never been to Seattle or if you ever get a chance to go there definitely check it out because it is an amazing city the people there are so nice the soups had those things locked and I actually kind of want to move there now which is which is crazy but uh we are in talks of moving to Seattle one day. Well, I suppose that hypothetically, theoretically, it could be you can only drain powers from a conduit who has them naturally. A prime no! like Hank, or hopefully Augustine. I mean, the DUP guys got all their weaker powers from Augustine, so maybe they can't pass them on, even to you. So you're saying we have to keep going. Read you loud and clear. Don't push it. And next time, don't lie to me, okay? Trust your brother a little more than that, will you? All right, so when I said you can fall off the space needle, that is exactly what happens. And Juiceman, definitely, I suggest this game. Um, I usually do, like, you know, I don't straight up say buy a game. But um, this was probably one of the first games I bought when I got the PS4. And it's... Oh, by the way, Betty said to tell you hi. What? Oh, fuck. When did you talk Shut to her? Up. Uh, earlier on the phone. And you're just now telling me? Kind of been busy. Yeah, so like I was saying, I'm not a huge into these fuck kinds of games, but, um, 
Oh my god! Like, open world and stuff like that, but I would definitely suggest it. That's why I'm actually doing a second playthrough. I, like, never ever played through a game two times. But, this, it's, it's a great game. Uh, it is the epitome of what a next-gen game should be, in my opinion. Alright, I'm gonna quit talking so I can actually make it up this thing. You have to like hit the button and it's very finicky. All right. I really didn't want to fall again. Um, and I don't remember where to go. I really do not want to fall all the way off of this thing, so... Try to play it safe. Maybe I can... Alright. Man, this stuff's even uglier from the inside. I'm bored of taking this stuff down. Sorry, Betty, but, uh... Don't tell me this is a bad time. Actually, at the moment, I'm... <laughs> kind of climbing up the outside of the Space Needle. Well, if you don't want to talk to me, just say so. Gonna have to call you back, Betty. He doesn't even have a Bluetooth okay, on, so, not like... A good time to plummet. How exactly did that happen? Just curious. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? This is more like it. I'm on the uh, observation deck. Don't let your guard down. I have a feeling there's gonna be some baddies right around this corner. Look at that guy, he's just standing there, not even paying attention. Punt. Upward and upward. Going. You're almost to the top. Oh, it's cool, Juicer man. Take it easy. Alright. Well, thanks for stopping job, by. The eye of the needle. And that must be what holds it all together. What the hell? Well, I haven't seen you before. Reg, man, they got a small army up here. Good. Means they're in the right place. Or that they really don't like other people playing with their stuff. Come on, focus, Delson. Do you see any way to take down the communications? Yeah, yeah, there's this, uh, anchor. Looks like it's holding all the intent. Fuck! I didn't have, like, a chance to do any type of, uh, defense on that one. Fuck out of here. Oh, I'm gonna so find a clean shot because you guys snuck me last time. That's not happening again. I'm gonna play defense. You guys can suck a dick up till you hiccup. Yeah, boy. Got my health back. It's on. And this moron's looking in the wrong direction. Yes, thanks. Out. On the 
Oh, seriously? See, as soon as I give them an inch, they take a mile. And they start throwing that... Fuck! This dude is a fucking goner. I need smoke bad. No, 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 no. I gotta like hide back here so I can regain my health. And I can only use those missiles to like spam so often. Don't see me, I'm right behind you, dude. Alright, I only got a couple left, so hopefully I can get this over with. Gonna suppress my dick, dude. He just shot like it's. They get him? Sorry, Baldy. Nice. That took longer than I expected it to. Not gonna lie. Where's these anchors? I don't think this is gonna cut it. Nothing bad ever came from getting new powers. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Oh, this is going to be epic. All right, so hold on, let me kill him. Subtlety is for nice. Losers. My karma level has increased. What a rush! Oh, hold on, I gotta execute more people. Apparently, where are more to execute over here? Oh, here we go. What are you guys doing, just chilling over here? I hope Reggie's got a good view of this. Nice. It goes away. Yeah, I have a feeling that's going to be uh, kind of dangerous. Hello, Science Center District. I lost you. Do you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Yeah, Red. Let's go find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the street. Take it easy. A few streets in the immediate vicinity, all right? The DUP still owns the other 98%. But we kicked them off the Space Needle, man. You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Picking the DUP completely out of Seattle is going to take time. We just got here. You know what they say, 
The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who, who says that? The Chinese. <laughs> the Chinese. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a kick-ass tag. So I gotta choose which uh, which tag a jacket now. I'll do this one again. Hey, Reg. You see it from down there? <laughs> Are you kidding? People in Portland can see it. I just want to let the dupes know I'm here, man. What the hell is that? Shit just got real, people. That's not one of the three who escaped. She knows who it is. 